not on it. This was given as an exclusive to Fox News, which is you have to pay to watch it. No pool cameras were allowed in. No local reporters were allowed in. So this was very much an official government step, a signing of a major piece of legislation. And for a lot of purpose, intents and purposes, it was not open at all to the public. It looked a lot like a campaign event. And that has already raised some pretty serious ethical questions. I spoke today with J.C. Planas, who is a former Republican state representative here in Florida, who is now an elections and ethics attorney. And here's what he told me about this morning. The fact that he is commingling his official duties as governor with his reelection campaign, even though he hasn't officially announced, I think is, is very troubling. And of course, Governor DeSantis is up for re-election next year in 2022, and he's also being floated as a potential presidential candidate in 2024. Well, tell us more about exactly what this new law would do. Right. It it does a a series of things to Florida's election laws. Um, It passed almost completely along party lines with Republicans voting in favor of it. And what it does is it it cuts back on the availability of ballot drop boxes and places more stipulations on the use of those drop boxes. It limits how many ballots someone might be able to collect from someone who's not in their family, which is the way a lot of people with disabilities and elderly voters vote. Uh, It adds new voter ID requirements and restrictions for mail-in ballots, and it makes voters who request vote-by-mail ballots have to do it more frequently if they want to continue voting uh, that way. I will say voters that voted 2020 by mail are grandfathered into that part of it. Hmm. And it also gives it also limits the distribution of food and water for anyone waiting in line at, a, at, the, at the polls so that only certain people can, uh, can pass water to, to people waiting in line. Just briefly, what are opponents saying? So Democrats take the the stance that this law harms the ability of people, especially the elderly and the the disabled, to be able to vote. And there's also a lot of speculation that this could actually end up backfiring and hurting Republicans who in Florida have traditionally done a lot better with elderly voters and voting by mail. And I will say that there has already been a lawsuit filed on this. There's not been an official response from the governor of the state of Florida, but that is something that's in the works. It's WLRN's.